Hey everyone, it's MJ, the Student Tech Tree, and in this video, I'm going to attempt to predict the World Cup final score between France and Croatia. And what I've done, just to save time, I've written out all my calculations, and I'm going to talk you through it. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm using a Poisson distribution that's just depending on the actual results of the games in the World Cup and not going to be looking at individual players' performance or you know how Mbappe or Luka Modric is doing. So we're looking just at the numbers of these teams to calculate what their score is going to be. So to do that, I have calculated three things for each team. The amount of goals that they scored uh, in the World Cup so far, so it's been 12 for Croatia, 10 for France. The amount of goals that they've conceded, that has been 5 for Croatia and 4 for France. I've then also calculated the amount of time played. And that's been 630 for Croatia and 540 for France. Look, I have rounded down to either 90 minutes or 120. Um, I'm not using, you know, 90 minutes plus 5 or, or something like that. But because I've been consi well, consistent on both teams, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Anyway, what I've then done is I've calculated my lambdas, and in order to get my lambdas, what I've done has just been, say, 12 over 630 uh, times 90 minutes, the 90 minutes that we're going to be playing in this upcoming game. Um, and I've done that for Croatia's goals that they're going to score, uh, the goals that they're going to concede, and I've done the same for France. Then what I've done to determine uh, Croatia's score is I've combined their goals for with the goals that France is going to concede to create a lambda or a single lambda for Croatia's score. And I've done the same with France to get their score. And the interesting thing is, is though Croatia is, uh, scores a slightly higher rate of goals than France, they also concede a slightly higher rate of goals to France. And at the end of the day, both of these teams have exactly the same lambdas, which means the expected full-time score is going to be 1-1 uh, uh, after 90 minutes, which means we're going to go to extra time. When you extend this lambda over 120 minutes, we get one and a half goals, well, just over one and a half goals each for each team, which means we could be looking at a 2-2 after extra time. So it's going to be an exciting game. Uh, penalties are, are definitely on the cards. Um, of course, the score of 1-1, one, one, before you go run out and bet on it, it's important to know the odds of that actually happening. Um, and I did that here using the Poisson distribution. And the actual odds of it being 1-1, one, one, though it's the most likely thing to happen according to this model, it is only 13.1%. Anyway, this got me quite interested into saying, well, yeah, to think what are the bookies uh, suggesting. So I started writing out their stats and I thought, let me do it for all of the scores. So in the pink, we have the odds that the bookies have said uh, for each score. Look, I am only using, only use one betting website. The betting website you use might be different. Um, and then I also compared it to the, the model that I made. And all I'm simply doing, it's, it's using Poisson. Uh, very standard grade statistics here. Um, but what was interesting is, I mean, if we come to, if we look at the draws, they, the bookies think that a nil-nil draw is way more likely than what my models predicted. So they say it's 17% and I've said it's only going to be 9% chance. Um, the interesting thing is, and why you probably shouldn't bet on my score, is because the bookies have put it at 14.28%, which means you're going to be paying a premium, and I guess that's what you do for betting. You always are paying that premium for that entertainment factor, and the, the betting houses need to always win at the end of the day. Uh, but look how close our odds were for a 2-2 draw. I mean, this model is not considering, like I say, any of the players' form, anything like that, other than their results in this World Cup. And look how close that is, 4.64 to 4.76. 3-3 draw was also quite similar, uh, but where the model did go quite differently is for a 4-4 four, four draw. draw uh, the Poisson is saying that that's very unlikely, whereas the bookies at half a percent, it's still unlikely, but it's, it's a lot more likely than, than what the Poisson model is suggesting. Um, 
of course, we saw the biggest differences with France winning. Uh, the bookies are favoring the French. And you can see they're 18% to 11% for a 1-0 to France. 12.9 um, to 6.55 for 2-0. I mean, that is almost double. Um, so that would almost be the worst score to bet on, although there's still a 6.5% chance of happening, so that might actually be the score. But according to my model, that's one of the worst things to bet on. Also this one here, 3-0 to the French, also not that good. 2-1, um, we were a little bit closer. And on the Croatian side, uh, we were also a lot closer with a slight variation uh, favoring the model. We got 11% to 10.8, 6.55 to 5, uh, 7.8 to 6.24, and 2.6 to 2.4. So these, I mean, not that betting is a good idea because like I say, it's, it's very risky. It's probably legal in your country. You have to be over a certain age. Um, but the odds of my model do kind of favor or suggest that Croatia is the better bet. Uh, but like I said, betting is very risky. Um, so I, I am going to be betting on Croatia. I think it's the right move to do just because it's going to make the game a lot more exciting. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, according to the, the maths, we should be seeing a full time of 1-1. And then when it goes to penalties, I think anything can happen. It's 50-50. And that's why if the bookies are favoring the French... It makes sense to bet on Croatia because then you're going to get a higher payout. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comment section below what your score prediction is. Um, but yeah, it's quite interesting to see how close the mathematics is to the bookies who are considering a whole bunch of other factors as well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you for more stats videos. Cheers.